Yeah. All right, bro. Ask me if I'm ready, and then tell me to hold on. <laughs> I said, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Amen. How many of you are ready to worship the Lord tonight? Yes. Yes. Come on, man. Yes, Jesus. That's why I'm here. Yes, Lord. There was a pastor friend of mine <laughs> that had a, a big church. It was him and one black lady. And he pastored her and they had Sunday school. She would get up and teach Sunday school and then sit down and he'd get up and preach to her. And you know what he told me? He said, we'd have church. We would just worship the Lord. Come on, we have come in and we got more than two people here. Amen. 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 We should do a better job than they done worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on now, wake up somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're here to worship Him and Him only. Come on, we're here to praise our Lord. He's King of kings and Lord of lords and there's no higher than Him. Right. And we're here to praise Him and to glorify His name, hallelujah, and to lift Him up. We're not here to lift up man, but we're here to lift up the Lord. And somebody better say amen, hallelujah, because I'm here to worship Him. We're going to sing, we're going to shout, we might run a little bit, but we're going to praise the Lord here tonight. Come on, get to your feet. Get to your feet. I'll wake you up one way or the other. You know what I tell you when I preach? If you go to sleep when you wake up, I'm still going to be preaching. Come on now, and I'm not preaching tonight. You might get a nap in. I don't know. But we're here to worship the Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, wake up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's say hallelujah about three times tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Praise God.
his presence. Oh, yeah. And I knew this yeah. was the place where love and your grace, Lord. Yes, we thank you, Father, for what you're doing in this house tonight, Father. Yes, Lord. There, may be some, there may be some churches, Lord God, out there that uh, they may be teaching tonight. 
And Lord God, we're seeking your face tonight, Lord. Yes. We want the bread to be broke, Lord. We want to receive of the word, but we seek your face, Lord, in the middle of the week, Lord. Yes. We seek your face, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because there's where the abundance of joy is, Lord. Yes. There's where the direction of life is, Lord. Yes. That's what keeps us on the path, Father God, is whenever you come and touch us, Lord. Yes. Lord, you are mighty to us, Lord. Yes. We thank you for that, Father. Hallelujah. We do not take your presence, Lord God, for granted. We celebrate your presence, Lord God. Yes. Don't care if it's on a Monday or it's on a Tuesday, Lord. That's right. Oh, Lord God, on a Wednesday, we're going to celebrate your presence, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. We thank you for that, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And let all the Pentecostal people say amen. 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 You may be seated, God. Oh, God is good, isn't he? You can dismiss the babies. Go ahead and head on out. I've seen about 20 people looking at me. Because I had this phone out during worship and I was hitting this thing, right? And you ought to see up there on the screen, I was trying to keep up. Y'all think I was texting, didn't you? I seen y'all looking at me. I was texting over texting somebody on his phone. And I was over there trying to keep up, you know, with the lyrics. I was like, oh man, I'm sweating. You know? And here's my sister right here looking at me like, what the pastor going over on his phone in the middle of the service? He's all right. Look at her. I see sister back here looking too, man. Who was he texting the little service? I was trying just to keep up. That's what I was trying to do. Because my sound man didn't come tonight and, and Kim isn't here tonight. So I had to take double duty. I was just trying to take care of it. Whew, you got to explain some things sometimes, don't you, sister? Oh, they, yeah, they'd have been sending a note to the church. The thing of it is, I'm the one who opens the notes. I'll be reading it. Come on now. <laughs> Send the note. <laughs> oh, we praise the Lord, guys. I tell you what, God is good. Let us get ready to give in our tithes and our offerings tonight. And remember the pledge cards that we put out. You know, uh, we've had quite a few people that have already turned those in. Yeah. And I guess we've risen or raised up about a $500 extra a month. For, for the building fund. Praise God. Praise now that's for the month. Praise the Lord. And there's been people that really put out there, you know, and really blessed the church. So I'm just letting you know God is in this. And if God has just told you, you know, just put it on your heart. Five dollars. Then give that five dollars. But if he said to put some more in there, then do that. This is a free will offering. Yeah. This ain't trying to yank your chain to get more money out of you. This is free will. This is what God has blessed you with and you want to bless us. Because we're going to build a church. We're going to put some walls up. We're going to have a nice lawn. We're going to have a nice gymnasium. We're going to have a nice... We're going to, it's going to be nice, guys. Amen. We're going to bring it off up here in Rocky Mount. And you want to be a part of that, don't you? Come on, man. I want to be a part of that. I want to be down on there, man, playing one-on-one -on -one with my girl. You know, and be shooting some hoops over in the gymnasium. Come on. And right now, you know, that's in my mind's eye. That's a vision. But I tell you what, God's going to bring that to pass. Amen. I promise you it is. And we're going to be up in this big old sanctuary. And the people are going to come in and file in. And there's going to be a lot of people coming later. Amen. They're going to oh, yeah. see it being built. Then they're going to come. Yes. Mm. But see, we're here. And we got vision with me, don't we? Right. And we're going to say, we believe in the pastor, Lord. And you're bringing people around. And we I just know. Can't you just see it? Yep. God's yeah. going to do this. Yeah. God's going to do this. We was talking to yeah. a gentleman down at the lake the other night. God owns all this stuff here. And my wife and I was down at his house. And I was trying to talk him into moving out. I was like, you can move out of your house. <laughs> we'll have church here. <laughs> I mean, 10,000 square foot house, man. Come on now, you can have some church up in there. They'd be calling us a commune or something. <laughs> we had to do something. I'll tell you what, that was nice. And he was real nice to us. And, you know, he just sat there and took notes. And he was like, you know, what's your vision and whatever. And uh, he just... Uh, I'm just believing God is working all this out. He just he is behind yeah, the yeah, scenes, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's meeting the missus around the yeah. table, and she made cake for us. And here's me and my wife, you know. She was forcing me to eat that cake. My wife was. It was my good. Oh. Yeah, she did make me. She look at her over looking at me now. Well, anyway, guys, let's, let's give unto the Lord. Uh, will you help me, brother? Yes. Amen. Father God, we just thank you for the ability, Lord God, to give into your kingdom. We thank you, Father God, that you are giving, Lord God. You are giving, God. You gave your best, and we give our best, Lord. 
Well, Lord God, these people have a tithing pastor. I tithe, Lord God. I'm doing this by example, Lord. I give it to the basket, Lord. Every week or every month, Lord God, me and my wife, we give in, Lord. So yes. we're not asking them to do anything that we're not doing. So we ask you to bless in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Amen. 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 God is good. church on his smartphone too. I remember one time I looked across the way and my girl man was there on her phone and there was a good preacher. He's preaching and she was over there just doing her thing. And I looked across there and I, you know, I bird eyed her, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, she didn't look up at me she just kept on going like she didn't care. Oh man, I'll tell you what, in my mind I took away that phone, put it in a safe, sunk it over in the lake. I mean, I had already done all that. And I went over there to her, and I was like, what you doing on your phone? She said, I was taking notes. And I had my Bible right here, and she showed me the notes, a big page of notes, and her Bible there on her phone and everything. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you just can't take things for granted anymore. You know, I thought she was texting somebody, and here she was studying the Word of God. And I'm like, oh, man. I had to go recant on everything that I had in my mind's eye that I was going to do that phone. <laughs> Come on up here, brother. Tonight I've asked our youth pastor, which is a seasoned pastor, and I just uh, to come and share the word. Praise the Lord. Hey. Let's hey. give him a hand. Yes. You know, I just want to let you know it's a blessing to, for you to be with us and your wife and your whole family to be with us here. Yes. And you're, you've been a blessing, man. I tell you what, man. I just, uh, every time I've asked you to do something, you say, yeah, I'll go do that. You know, and a lot of times I'll say, let's do it together. You say, I don't, you know, I'm going to go around right. and do that. i tell you what, that's a blessing, brother. And I want to let you know that. God You're bless you, brother. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Read the word, man. Don't hold it back, man. Right. I'm going to try on some glasses here. All right. Thank you, Tim, for letting me do this tonight. Um, I'm going to be reading out of, out of Ezekiel, okay? And... Um, a little bit of background. Let me, let me do something. Let me pray real quick. Father God, we thank you for this day. And blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Lord, we just thank you for, for all that you do for us, Lord. We just thank you for the holy ground, Lord. And Lord, I pray uh, tonight, Lord, as we open your word and we look at it, God, that you will bless our hearts, Lord, that you will you will show us some things, Lord, that need to be fixed in our lives. and Or maybe they've been fixed and we just want to praise you for what you've done, God. But whatever, Lord, whatever it may be, Lord, speak to our hearts. We love you. We honor you. Fill us with your spirit. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen, Amen brother. Amen. Now, in Ezekiel, where I'm at in verse, uh, I mean, chapter 36 of Ezekiel. Um, uh, right here in Ezekiel 36, and it, what has happened is the Jews have been, uh, they have been, uh, Exiled to Babylon, and then and, and they've been there for a while, and and um, things you know, you think about you know they they had their homeland, and and uh, you know they were taken out of their homeland and brought to Babylon, and tried to they were introduced into things that they 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 didn't know of before, and they uh, had to learn a new language and and all these things, and but now you know they. Uh, they're, they're, God is, is going to give us some encouragement here in, in Ezekiel 36. Um, because, you know, a lot of times when we get in places and, and the enemy has beaten us up, 
We need encouragement. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We, need, we need a good word. We need God to speak to us and to let us know that things are not over. Amen. Right. right. So here in verse 36, uh, chapter 36, verse 1, it says, And you, son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God. Because the enemy has said to you, Ah, the ancient heights have become our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, because you made it desolate and swallowed it up on every side, so that you became the possession of the rest of the nations, and you were taken up by the lips of the talkers and slandered by people. Therefore, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, I, and the thing with me is, I, I found this... Um, I had been in uh, Alaska and I had come back and God had spoken to me and threw this thing right here because it just, you know, you know, the mountains and all that. I was like, you know, God has really used chapter 36 for my life and so many times. And it's became a, a become a very uh, familiar chapter to me. And God has spoken to me so many times through it. And it's right before, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a lot uh, more popular chapter in 37 of the dry bones, you know. But, but this for me has just been one of those chapters that's just, God has spoken to me. Because every time I feel like I need, I need a word from the Lord, he, can, he will speak through this chapter to me, okay? And the thing is, right here, I see, you know, it says, he says, And you, son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say, O mountains. So this is the thing. This may sound, you know, he told him, he said, you prophesy to the mountains. Well, so then why would he prophesy to the mountains? I, I, I take it like this. Not, 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 not that he was really saying to the mountains, but he was saying, look out, mountains, here they come. He was saying, you know, to the enemy. I'm saying right now, thus says the Lord, this is going to happen to the enemy. He says, those, those who have said no to you or have put you in a bad place, I'm saying yes to you again. I'm saying it's going to happen. So this is what, you know, this is what I see that, that God is trying to say to us tonight. That You know, I don't care where you've been. Don't get discouraged, but be encouraged. Amen. Because, you know, this is like here, you know, people had slandered these, the, the Jews. They had put them in a place they didn't want to be. And, and they talked and they took their land. They took everything. And the enemy wants to do the same thing to us. Yeah. If he can take away everything that we have and have put us in a place that we don't want to be, he, we're defeated. Amen? And that is his, that is his thing. He wants to, to take away from us so that we don't have it. Right. So that we kind of murmur and, you know, we complain about things. You know, sometimes we get into things, you know, we didn't, we cause some of the problems that we get into. That's right, yeah. But we have a forgiving God. Amen. You know, and sometimes we get these things that it wasn't nothing we did. It was just one, one of those things that we had to go through. But God is still there and He's still with us and He's still there to encourage us. Yeah. And this is the thing. This is the thing. I, I, you know, I just... Um, I think we just need to start speaking things out. Sometimes. Yeah, come on now, man. Yeah. You know, I, and I, you know, you talk, he's talking about building a big old church and stuff. Tim, I think we just need to start speaking it out. I mean, we just say, hey, it's going to happen. And we can see it. You know, and that's kind of what, what, what God was trying to tell Ezekiel here. He said, you know, you, you, you can't see it yet. You can't, it's, it ain't there yet, but it's coming. Yes. Amen. It ain't, it ain't, but I'm going to make it happen. Come on. Blessing God. Yes. Yes. If you believe enough to start speaking it out, yeah. I can make it happen. Right. Yeah. Amen? Right. And He will make it happen. But you know, we got to get it in our own minds that He can't do these things. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on, bro. He comes by hearing. Hearing by the word. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? So if we, can, if we can get it in our ears and we you know it's in our heart and we start believing that God can do these things. Oh, yeah. I, you know, and I have been, honestly, been out a little out of practice doing those things in my life. Because I went through a really bad place for about 16, 17 months. And I kind of got in a place where I felt beat up. I felt like People had said things about me that weren't necessarily true if they didn't know the whole story. Right. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? And uh, I thank God there were some people in my life that had enough sense to speak into my life. And not let me get completely out there where I couldn't come back. Because that's what the enemy wanted. The enemy did not want me to have no more power. Okay, if I'm defeated, I'm no threat to him no more. Come on, Dwayne. Come on. Come on now. God wants you to have power in your life. And that's what's going to move the rest of this world. They people can sit there and they can say, oh, yes, Jesus, you know. Yeah. But no, the world wants to know that Jesus is real and there is power. Yes. Yes. Come, on. Come on now. And that's what's going to move the rest of this world. Yes. That's what, you know, and I, I was teaching the youth the other day. I said, yeah, this is what we, we, we got to do. We got to believe that God has the power. He still has the power to heal. Yes. He, has, you know, he still has the power Amen. to move the mountains. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. He still has the power to do those things. He's the same God he was in Acts. And I'll be honest with you. But for a long time, I had people try to talk me out of that. Come on, brother. Come on now. And you know what? They had me believing it for a little while. But thank God, God put that thing in my heart and says, you're missing something. Yeah. yeah. You're missing something. You're missing the power. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You're missing the power. Yeah. You know, and then when God touched my life, and I was, you know, I started praying for that thing. I was like, God, I know something's wrong, but I don't know what it is. What is it? You know? And then God came down and he whacked me one day in a prayer meeting. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Yeah. There wasn't no altar call, nothing. I was just standing there, bam. <laughs> <laughs> this man back here, he knows me. He's known me for a long time. And he knows when, when that happened to me, my preaching changed. Everything about me changed. I started believing things that I didn't believe. I, I, took, I took God out of the box and let him go. <laughs> and that's what God wants us to do. I mean, yeah. believe that we have power. Start speaking that stuff, man. Come on, bro. Come on. I've got, you can get out of practice of doing those things. You can get beat up and you can get back. But but, but what we really under, need to understand is that God is still the same God He was yesterday. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yes. Today. Yes. He is the same God. Yeah. He's the same God that was the part of the resurrection that rose, you know, rose and God rose Him up from the dead. It's the same power that we have. Yeah. That's right. yeah. And you know, and I say, you know, the song Holy Ground. We, we, we have holy ground. But you know, a lot of times we give up what God has given us that holy ground. We let Satan have it. Because he gets back in us, he starts beating up on us, you know, and he starts putting us up against the wall, saying, you ain't no good, boy. You done done things that nobody can forgive you for. Nobody gonna forget about it. They still slandering you. They get you up against the wall. You know what you need to do? You drop on your knees and say, God, I want to take my land back. Yeah. See, yeah. Come you need to start speaking. Just like Ezekiel did. Start speaking. Now, you can't see it yet, but I'm going to tell you something. If you believe it, it will come to pass. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen, brother. Amen. And, uh, you know, I, I just don't want you, you know, I thank God for you. I've just been some people in my life that really have kept me from going in the bad place. Yeah. And and, uh, and the thing was, it, you know, and, 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 and my brother Daniel, he'd always text me when I was going through this thing, and he'd say, you know, just, you know, give me give me encouragement. He was, you know, he was my arm barrier all the time, and. Uh, you know, she'll be, she wouldn't let me give up. Amen. Come on, brother. She wouldn't let me give up. I mean, she pushed me. She said, you, you can't see it for me. She said, but I see it for you. It's still going to happen. I can still see. You can still preach. It's still in you. You can still do it. God has not forgotten about you. You still have that in you. You still got the preach in you. Brother Tim. Amen. Brother Tim, 
That's what I like about him. He don't judge you for who you are, where you've been, but he wants you to be going places. Yeah. He sees things that I don't believe other people see in people. I believe it's a gift. Yes. And he encouraged me. Praise the Lord. He, you know, he was. I told this before, but he didn't. He was encouraging me when I when I dared to hear him preach in Randolph. And he was. He didn't even know who I was, but I was sitting in the audience, and he was preaching, and he was he was encouraging me. He was doing things for me. He didn't even know me. Amen. 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 And, and, and now that I'm here, I, you know, I just love, I, I love y'all. I mean, y'all love you too, Lord. And, and y'all, you know, you've got me back where I want to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, on into this chapter, though, I ain't going to do the whole thing because it's a long one. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says, it says, uh, it says, uh, O mountains of Israel, you shall shoot forth your branches and yield fruit to my people, Israel, for they are about to come. Amen? They are about to come. They are about to come. Come on now. See, this is what happens to us a lot of times. We get impatient. Yeah. Amen? And, and we start to believe God ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the enemy talking to you. Yeah. Uh -huh. He likes to whisper in your ear. Yeah, whisper in your ear to tell you all these things. You can't do this. You can't. Yeah, but, you know, and it, but just believe it. You know, God said, oh. Come on, brother. God wants work. you to be somebody. I'm telling you. He don't yeah. want you to just be hanging around. He wants you to do something with your life. Yeah. He, yeah. Wants to he, he wants you to cross and shed his blood so that you can live yeah. again. And we need to start acting like that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Come on, brother. Man. And he's got some of you waiting on some some of you waiting on some things that God has promised you. Be patient. Be patient. Yes. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Prepare yourself. You know, gird yourself up with with, with the with the uh, the armor. Yes. And get ready. Come on. Because it's coming. Yeah. But just be patient. Yeah. Keep speaking it out. Keep believing it, and be patient. Yeah. Because God don't always move on our time. Yeah. Wish He would. It'd be a lot easier. Amen. Yeah. It's like pulling up to the drive thru I want my I want my McDonald's hamburger right now. I want the fries. I want a bar and drink. I want it right now. And if we have to wait, oh Lord, what's wrong with them people? What's wrong? I thought this was fast food. We want it right now. You see, know, that's the thing. I went through something for, ah, oh, man, it, it was 18, it's been 18 months, something like that. It's been a long time. And I tell you what, I do not want to go back there. I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy. Yes, yeah. Come on, that's right. It was the valley of the shadow. Yes, it was the It was there. Valley of the shadow of death. I was there, and it was bad, and I didn't, couldn't see no way out of it. But again, I had people around me. They kept saying and speaking, encouraging things to me. Amen. And then God, God would just do, this is the thing. You know, I'm going to tell you something. You need some encouragement? Pick this yeah, thing up. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because God was speaking through this, some of the words in here. I just need one. Come on. Uh, I said, I'll give you, and this, this is in the same chapter. I said, I'll give you a new heart. Yeah, I'll really. put a new spirit with you. Yeah, all with heart. Yeah. Uh, I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart. I, I give you a heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. I will put my spirit within you and yes. cause you to walk in my statutes. Hey, Amen, man. brother. And I will keep, you will keep my judgments and do them. See, it's just things like that. I mean, God spoke to me through His Word. Yeah, but man. if we don't pick it up and read yeah. it, how He's going to speak to you? That's right. That's right. I mean, He can. I mean, He's coming here and we can hear preaching and we. But, but he really wants to be intimate with you personally. Yes. Yes. And that's where you get that. Amen. In the Word of God. Amen. Amen. That's one thing. Even through the valley that I walked through, I always kept this to this, I like a big Bible. Mm -hmm. it's, it's easy for me to see. I really want to smack somebody in <laughs> yeah, I mean it was. I got this thing marked up, and I see a good a good Bible needs to be marked up. It, yeah. It's not it's not sacrilegious to put marks in. I'm just yeah. It's, you know, pick the read. There's promises in there. Hold on to those promises. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then he goes on and says, uh, For indeed, I am for you, and I will turn to you, and I shall beat you. And you shall be tilled and sown, and I will multiply men upon you in the house of Israel, uh, all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and the ruins rebuilt. Amen? Amen. Rebuilt. Amen. If things have been ruined for you, God will rebuild you. Amen. 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 I will multiply on you man and beast, and they shall increase and bear young. Let's see, this is kind of where God kind of spoke to me about youth. You know, and it may seem weird to you, but to me, God spoke clearly through these things. You know, it says, you increase, that they shall increase and bear young. I will make you inhabit, this is in the former times. Okay? What was there was good. Okay? And do better for you than your beginnings. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Praise God. Amen. And then you shall know that I am the Lord. See, you can't argue when God does something magnificent. Amen. That's where people, that's what I'm talking about power. When we believe that God can do great and mighty things, and we keep being patient, and we keep uh, following Him, and God finally comes through for us, what a testimony to those that didn't believe. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Because it's nothing better to shut somebody's mouth up when God does what He says He's going to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then when they ain't got nothing to stand on anymore. Amen. They ain't got nothing. Yeah. But we got something to stand on. Yeah. We got to stand on the promises that He's made to us. Yes. And He will. He will. I promise you. I'm a living example that you can walk through terrible, terrible times. Suffer things said about you that weren't true. People done things, called me, call, call me horrible, horrible names. Horrible things. But I didn't let it get me to the point where I just completely give up. Praise God. Amen. Because it's, it's better. Uh, you got to test me. When you start to walk through things and you've yeah. been yeah. where other people have been, and you can testify and then and, and talk to these people or, and, and you can have these things in common where you've been through. Hey, man, you can help somebody else that's going through yeah. something that they you know, need. Yeah. 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 You know? And that's, what, that's another thing that I firmly believe is, you know, when God get testimonies. I love when Tim gives testimonies. I love to see what God has done in somebody else's yeah. life. Yeah. I love to see that thing. Because it gives testimony to what God is. And God is real and He still does things yeah. great and Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just excited and I'm glad Tim has got a vision for what this church is going to be. Because yeah. he, he believes what he's saying. Amen. Amen. And he, he believes it. Now, it's like going down the road. I was telling him about it one day. You know, I think uh, we picked Shelby's kids up one time and uh, they had never seen the mountains before. And they kept saying, oh, well, we would stay there in South Carolina. You know, when you get... Uh, Right there, before you get into uh, what is that? Mm, what is that? You go up that, that mountain right there. Ah, I can't think of it. Fancy gap. That's the one. Fancy gap. Fancy gap. But anyway, we were, we were going down the road. And I, they kept, I kept telling them it's gonna be great when you get there. You see, it's gonna be mountains. And it's just gonna be really cool, you know. It's just gonna come out of nowhere and wham, there it is. So they can't wait. We there yet? I don't see nothing. <laughs> I said, just hold on. It's coming. I promise you. You're going to love it when you see it. Amen. Yeah. You, know, you know, the same thing went on there for several hours. But finally, finally, we started to get a little glimpse. I said, there it is. There it is. Work, work, work. <laughs> Come on, brother, preach that word, man. Come on now. <laughs> and we know we got this. Oh, wow. That is so cool. And that's the way it is with us. Yeah. Amen. You know, if we, God says it's going to be great. I got it. It's going to be better this time than it was last time. Oh, yeah. It's going to be better yeah. than it was last time. We're going to make something happen. It's yeah. going to be magnificent. You just keep looking. And it's gonna, you're going to see it on the horizon. Yeah. Now, you might not be able to see it yet, but just envision it in your mind. Because I'm speaking, you just keep talking. 
You just keep saying it, it's going to happen. You keep saying it, yeah. I'm going to make it happen. But sooner or later, you're going to start to see a little glimpse of that cat. Yes. That mountain. Yes. And you go, woo! Here we go. It's coming. It's coming. I feel it coming. Woo! Amen. That's just what, I mean, that God is awesome when they come with things like that happen. And you know, sometimes, again, you have to, you have to wait on it. You have to wait on it, but God is, you know, saying, it's going to be better. It's going to be better. You just keep being patient. It's going to happen. I promise you. Amen. What an encouraging thing. Come on, brother. That's good yes. stuff right there. God, God loves you, man. And He wants to do great and mighty things through oh, yeah. you. It's personally for each one of you, but as a congregation. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be awesome. Yes. He's going to do great and mighty things. Oh, yeah. You know, I just didn't get here by chance, and neither did you. <laughs> but God had His plan. <laughs> Amen. And He's going to make it happen. With all of us. That's right. Yeah. I mean, you know, we get to see that. We go, woo! <laughs> Lord. Yeah, amen. Amen. Yeah, Lord. Come on, brother. Amen, amen, yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I just, want to, I just want to say this. We need to encourage, to encourage one another. Yes. yes. Yeah. Encourage one another. If we get a little down in the mouth, somebody can just poke us a little bit. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't get offended. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the first thing somebody tells us wants to help us out a little bit, we get offended. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they tell us. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Come on. Come on. It's true. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but when somebody says, yeah, you get a little down in the mouth, so, hey, you know, don't do that. That's just, hey, God's got you. He's going to take care of you. He's got yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah. He's bigger than the enemy. Yes. Yes. Amen. Exactly right. That's Amen. it. Yeah. 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 Come on. Amen. Hey, please don't. I, I mean, I, 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 I first, last week, I'll be honest with you, I was riding around in the car and I was like, I started shouting, man. I'm like, I, I'm, God, I want healing in my body. I want healing in my life. I want healing in my house. Yes. I want it. I want it. I want it. Yes. Amen. Hey, it's going to happen. Amen. Amen. And, uh, but the enemy's going to fight full force to keep it from happening yeah. and make you just get discouraged, but just keep believing. Amen. Keep looking. Yes. It's going to happen. Amen. 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 And I just want to say, you know, encourage one another. Encourage one another. And that's kind of like, I like that this church. Y'all are some encouraging people. Amen. And again, this didn't happen by chance. God is going to do something awesome here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You believe it? Amen. Amen. I believe it too. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, I guess I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mess things up too bad, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Come on, come on. Let it go. Man, I quit preaching. Dude, you stay right here, man. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this, man. You, you know, it's, a, it's anointed. Yes. 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 Anointed messenger. Right. You know, let's just stand up here before the Lord here for a moment. That's the Lord. You know, and the Lord's good to us. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. He's with us in this. Yes. You know, just like you were saying, Dwayne, uh, the kids couldn't see the mountain, but it was coming. Amen. Yeah. You know, they just say, oh, is it there yet? No, it ain't there yet. Just, just, just wait a minute. It's coming. You trust the person that's behind the wheel. Amen. They know what they're going. They know what they're going to. You right. know, they've seen the mountain before. They Amen. know it. You know. Amen. And and you know the Lord's with us in this, and we we're on a track here. We're going somewhere. Yes. Amen. Before long, we'll see it. Amen. We're going to see what we've been talking about. Amen. Amen. Well, how many times have you said, "Hey, it's going to happen," and then yeah. you've seen it happen? Amen. This isn't, you know, everybody's first rodeo, but I tell you right. what, some of us, it's our first time. Right. The Lord's going to do a miraculous thing with yes, us. He's going to move us. He's established us in the land. I tell you what, He didn't bring me and my wife over here just to have a little old thing going on. He brought us over here to see the kingdom come yeah. up in Rocky Mountain in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That's why you're here, brother. That's why the rest of you are here. Yes. Amen. I want to see some things happening in the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
many of you to just message, just touch you? Oh, yes, right. Hallelujah. Yes. Just good stuff. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. Yeah. Jerry, start playing the good stuff. Something good now. Don't. <laughs> 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 I want y'all to just come up. Everybody just start coming up to me right here. Just allow us just to come together in prayer. Name for salvation. We're praying for one another. So we're on a journey and the Lord's moving in us and He's moving on us. He wants to encourage us. For every one of us to do our part. All of us have been discouraged on to do our part in this thing. The Lord wants you to do your part. He don't want us to be all disgruntled and upset about things. He wants us to do our part. So let us come together here today, tonight. Let's just lay it in the Lord's hands. Just say, Lord, I want to do my part. Lord God, I want to do my part. And as we get closer, Lord God, to the destination. That part, Lord God, may, may multiply, Lord God. Reach for me out. Lord God, that you will bring fulfillment to our lives, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the opportunity, Lord God.